this will be uh, just about coming up on two years, and uh, it's uh, fantastic. I've never thought I would love a machine, but like, I like this machine. This thing seems to have a sweet spot, somewhere between eight and 10,000 feet. Yeah. This thing, I can maintain my exhaust temps at an even uh, 1,425. The cylinder temps even out at about 325. And I can make this thing go uh, from about 14 to 16 gallons an hour. Yeah, this is a 1982 206. And about two years ago, we replaced our 520 and our Macaulay prop with a new 550 Continental and the Buccaneer Scimitar. And uh, it really improved our rate of climb. We went from about 600 to 700 feet a minute to about 800 to 1,000 and just no problem. And the, and the engine just runs so much smoother than the older 520 that we had. And uh, our rate of speed actually picked up. We were really surprised, and it's picked up to about 8 to 10 miles an hour. And we really noticed uh, the, it picking up speed when we're into a headwind. So we were really pleased with the service we got here at Texas Skyways. And they just did a wonderful job. And right now our engine has 180 hours, and we haven't had any problem. And we're very satisfied with it. I have a 1962 Cessna 182, and a few years ago we replaced the 0470 engine with Texas Skyways conversion 0520. The cruise speed increase was about 25 knots, which I think is excellent. Um, I do a lot of air photography, so vibration is a big issue, and so this new Scimitar 3 blade prop is very good. Uh, also with the engine we bought the Total Drain Sump, and I used to pay for oil changes to be done in the local shop. Now I can change my own oil, and so my only cost is the cost of the oil and the filter. Uh, that's, it paid for itself within a year. In the last 10 years, I've had four Texas Skyways engines. The performance upgrade is just the best thing for a 182 that I've ever found. We live in Albuquerque at 6,000 foot takeoffs. At half the takeoff distance, the uh, rate of climb is in the 1,500 foot range, which is double what we used to do. In fact, in IFR flying, we have a 13,000 minimum descent altitude, and we routinely had to climb and do three uh, 360s to get up, and now we just climb to 13,000 feet. The speed increase is about 20 knots. Uh, in fact, uh, this propeller is their latest design, and we gained about three and a half knots by replacing the Hartzell scimitar that we used to have. It's just an amazing machine. I routinely fly at 17,000 feet, which up there you're burning nine and a half gallons an hour. Uh, it's just an amazing machine.